I wonder if you would characterise this, uh, this uh, stake that you've taken as a vote of confidence in the existing management and strategy of UBS. Good morning, Anna. Uh, yes, it is a vote of confidence. We have uh, strong belief in, in, uh, in the chairman, in the CEO, and with the strategy that I've, they have laid out for the next couple of years. And Lars, it sounds like you obviously have a history, Sevian has a history of, of playing this activist role uh, when you take major stakes in companies. Do you expect to play that activist role or this, is this more of a value play? No, we're going to be an engaged owner as we are in all investments we do. Uh, we take a perspective of seeing where can a company be three and five years from now. Is it going to be a much better company? Can we be part of making that a much better company? And we see in UBS that um, management and board have laid out a very clear strategy over the next couple of years in integrating Credit Suisse into UBS. And it's going to create the largest uh, global wealth manager. It's going to be an uh, incredible business uh, covering uh, basically the entire globe. And outside of the U.S., it's going to be three times larger than its closest competitor. And we support that process. Uh, and management have described it. Uh, they're doing the integration work now with the view of building mm. a much uh, the strongest potential bank three, five years from now. And that's what we're supporting. OK, you say you're an engaged owner, uh, Lars. So, so what kind of messaging are you giving to management right now? Are you trying to shape what they tell to the markets in February? Because we're waiting to hear more about the strategy in February. Well, we, we're shaping what, what the actions are being made in, in the bank. We've had a dialogue, a close dialogue with management for quite some time now. We started buying shares uh, earlier this year after the, uh, the, the, the takeover of UBS by Credit Suisse. Um, we are focusing not only on the integration work right now, we're also focusing on what is going to come out after that integration work. Management has described there's a landing zone of 15% return on uh, tangible equity uh, in 2026. We are thinking a lot about not only the landing zone, zone, but also the cruising altitude thereafter. And we think the bank should be able to make, will be able to make and will make more than 20% return on tangible equity. OK, so you're looking for that 20% return on tangible equity. And look, you've talked about the wealth part of the business. Clearly, it is a consequential part of UBS now and into the future. Would you like to see that play a bigger role in terms of the business mix? Would you like the wealth management part of the business, the wealth business, to make a bigger part of this business? The wealth business is uh, including as a management in 60% of, of the group. And on top of that, there's 20% is uh is the uh the bank in in uh, in switzerland which is an amazing bank and then another 20 percent is the investment banking we think those uh numbers are are good uh at this stage we think that wealth management is going to grow faster than the other areas over time and thereby becoming a larger share of the of the group lars are you looking for scale up in the us from ubs uh we're looking for uh they, there is a good position in the us but there's an uh, potential to make uh, higher profitability in the U U.S. Uh, over the next couple of years. Lars, would you push for a listing in the U.S.? Do you think U.S. investors might reward, might value uh, this business more highly? Well, uh, there is a uh, UBS is listed in uh, in uh, in Zurich and 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 also in the U.S. And we think that the uh, head office and listing in in, uh, in Zurich is appropriate. You've made comparisons with Morgan Stanley, or colleagues have made Morgan Stanley uh, uh, references in talking about the undervaluation that the market attaches to UBS, Lars. Is that, what should we take away from the fact that you're referencing Morgan Stanley here? You've given us some sense of where you want the business to go, but more specifically around that reference. I think you should take away that uh, UBS is now trading at 1.2 times uh, tangible book. Morgan Stanley is at two times, even more than two times. UBS actually has a much better business mix. It's more stable. It's more. Uh, it's it's a higher growing area they're in. So we think that UBS should at least be valued at and par with Morgan Stanley. Actually, surpass it. Uh, that's what we're striving for, and that's what we think it should be. We think the downside protection in UBS is immense. It's a fantastic business. As I talked about, it has a. Uh, a glo global wealth management bus business that is surpasses its competitors by, by not only by the three times larger, but also mm. incredible capabilities for the customers. Give us a forecast then, Lars. When do you think UBS steals the crown from Morgan Stanley? I think in terms of valuation, we're going to be there in a couple of years, two, three years. I think in terms of uh, return on tangible equity, 
I think it's going to take another one or two years to get to a higher level. Uh, I think it's good to be conservative at the time you're making an integration with Credit Suisse. There's going to be mm. a lot of heavy lifting being done by management the next year. Lars, you're clearly a big fan of the story then. Why stop at 1.2 billion euros? Are you minded to, to take this ownership story further? Let's see. We never comment on our trading. It's a, it's a big position for us, together with four other companies. It, it, it's the largest positions we have in our portfolio at the moment. Lars, biggest risks around the integration. What's top of your radar? I think integration, I think actually I think management has, has outlined exactly the, the steps that should be made. Integrations are, are always bumpy, but I think it's very clear that it's, it's going to work well because of complementarity of Credit Suisse and, and, and UBS.